Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and uh, you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. If you are new, then uh, subscribe to this channel because on this channel I share ideas, insight, tools and tactics. So if you want to grow uh, really fast in the software industry, then subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any updates. So what is the best language to master for non-computer science branch and has more job getting probabilities? See the basic languages, okay, Java, Python and C Sharp or .NET, okay, are important to master if you want to get into programming. But if you are coming from a non-computer science background, okay, then you can also become a programmer with uh, programming languages like PHP, JavaScript, okay, which are used in a lot of web development uh, projects, which are used in a lot of web, web applications and they are very popular programming languages and they might be also a little bit easy to learn. Okay, now I cannot tell you which programming language, but I would suggest that if you are a non-computer science background uh, student, then what you should do is, there is one free course, okay, on Coursera. What you can do is you can go to uh, a link uh, in the description, which says amitpatels.com slash resources, okay, and on that page, uh, you, you will see a banner, you can go from that banner and on Coursera you just type CS50. I don't know if I mentioned CS50 in my PDF, I think I have mentioned CS50 on my PDF, but there is a course called CS50, which is a basic programming course. This basic programming course is the programming course that is taught in engineering colleges for non-programmers like people who join engineering colleges who are non-programmers to become programmers. So you can do the CS50 course and you can uh, go to the syllabus. It's a proper syllabus. And then that is, I think that is uh, using Java or C++. Okay. That will give you the basic foundation of programming and how to use the logic and everything to build a program. I think they help you in, in developing a simple application so you will learn how to develop a simple application that will start you in programming if you have the time bandwidth then you can do that course okay otherwise you should look at php javascript these are good places to start um, even java is a good place to start python is a very uh, popular and easy programming language to start one of the easiest programming language it is considered uh, is Python. So Python you can start uh, and there is a lot of information available on Python. Uh, I have I have on the on that PDF that I mentioned, there is a course which is called Python for everybody. That is for programmers, for non-programmers. That Python for everybody is a basic uh, Python programming course and you can start with that if you want to get into programming. Because see, you also need it's not just about learning a programming language. See, learning a programming language is very easy. That is not the, not the point. You need to learn the process of software development. You need to understand how to build an application. Okay, how to, how to look at the requirement from requirement, how to write the code from that code, how to test the code, how to deploy the code. This entire process you need to understand. And that, that will not come on your own. You will have to join some course which will teach you this. Okay. So uh, Rajesh, I hope. Uh, so I think, I think you should do that uh, Python for everybody course because it is quite easy to do. Uh, I don't know how much time it takes. Um, you'll have to check that. Uh, it will it, be given there. Uh, when you go and check the syllabus, on the side it will be given. Uh, how many months it will take to learn this uh, and how many hours you have to spend in a week. Okay. Usually they expect you to spend one to two hours every day. 
on on that and based on that you can learn okay i hope rajesh that uh, that helps you so subscribe to this channel before you go like this video if you have liked what i have discussed so far in the video okay share this video with your friends so that we can grow as much as possible uh, thank you very much stay focused stay rich and see you in the next live